everyone, in this video I'm going to be making a Piju cake from Pokemon. I'm making chocolate cake with milk chocolate ganache for filling. Cut the cake's level and then I cut a hole out of the middle of the cake so that it can go onto the board. I stick the first piece down to the board with the chocolate ganache and then I fill and stack the rest of the cakes. I'm using 4 inch cakes for the body. Once the cakes are stacked, it's time for the crumb coat. Then I pop it in the fridge to chill for about 20 minutes before moving on to the final coat of ganache. Now I'm scraping around the sides of the cake to make sure it's a nice smooth finish. I'm making sure to scrape around the bottom and the top edges of the cake to make it look more rounded. I'm melting marshmallows in the microwave and mixing them with Rice Krispies and sticking them to the underside of the board to make the bottom of Pichu's face. Now I'm covering the Rice Krispie Treats in more of that milk chocolate ganache. Now that's set, I go in for one more layer of chocolate ganache. that's set I pop that upright on top of the body of the cake and screw that in place before adding some more chocolate ganache. For the head I'm using a six inch cake that had a nice dome on it so I cut it in half and filled and coated it in more of the chocolate ganache. I used an acetate smoother to smooth around the curves of the head. I'm kneading yellow food colouring into white fondant until it's fully incorporated. Now I'm rolling the fondant out nice and thin. I'm cutting a straight line from the top and the bottom edge of the fondant and I'm going to wrap that around the body. I'm using a combination of a fondant smoother and my hand to smooth the fondant against the cake. Now I'm cutting the ends of the fondant off where they meet and I'm smoothing them together as best as possible. Also using an acetate smoother to tuck those bottom edges in and to also smooth around the cake. I'm just trimming off the fondant where the top of the body and the head meet.
Now I'm rolling out some more of that yellow fondant and I'm draping that over the head. I'm smoothing the fondant out round the bottom of the head as best I can and cutting off excess as I go. I'm rolling out some black fondant and I'm using water to stick that to the cake where the body and the head meet because it doesn't really have a neck and then I'm cutting out the markings to match the picture of Pichu. As you can see, the fondant did start to tear, um, so I'll just neaten it up and I'll fix the gap later. <laughs> Using the leftover black fondant, I cut out a triangle and place it into the gap. Using a piping tip, I cut out two circles of black fondant for the eyes. Then use that piping tip to mark out the placement of the eyes on the cake, before using water to stick them in place. Now I'm kneading some pinkish red fondant, rolling it out really thin and cutting out two circle shapes and a mouth shape. Now I'm taking a small piece of black fondant and rolling that between my fingertips to create an oval shape for Pichu's nose. Rolling a long thin piece of black fondant in my hand and I'm placing that on the top of Pichu's mouth. Now I'm rolling out white fondant really thin and using the smaller end of the piping tip I used earlier to create the catch lights in Pichu's eyes. Back to using the yellow fondant, I roll out a sausage shape, flatten it, then using a Dresden tool, I mark in the fingers and thumb, and then I cut the end off to make it a bit shorter, and I stick that down with water. And then I repeat for the other arm. I use some more of that yellow fondant, and make an oval shape, then I taper one end and on the larger end I use my Dresden tool to mark in Piju's toes and I do that twice for both feet. Here I'm using foam board and I'm just drawing the shape of Piju's ears and then cutting that out. Now I'm covering the foam board in some more of that yellow fondant. 
Here, I'm covering the edges of those earpieces in a strip of black fondant. I cut off the excess and I neaten up those edges and create the point at the top of Pichu's ear. Now I'm drawing Pichu's tail on some more foam board and cutting that out as well. Then I cover that foam board in some more black fondant. Now it's time to attach the ears and the tail. There it is, all finished. Thanks for watching.